What's up you guys? Tiffany here with Our Organic Life. So today is June 1st and what does that signify? That signifies the first official day of hurricane season. Now if you live in an area that is not affected by hurricanes, this video may still be helpful to you because today we are going to be going over five, maybe a little bit more, but five at the minimum Amazon finds that you might want to have on hand in case of a hurricane or any kind of emergency or natural disaster. Now I want to let you guys know that um, there is one of these items that is a sponsored item. I would not however push any items to you guys that I did not like or feel that was a good item but I did want to let you guys know. So the first item on our list I was actually very happy with um, recently we were reached out to by a company called Sun Life off of Amazon and they asked us to look at and review one of their items. Now um, they did sponsor this video, I want to let you guys know, but, but I would not recommend an item if I did not try it out. We've had it for a few weeks now, we've kind of been feeling it out, trying it out, and I wouldn't show it to you guys if I did not feel like it was actually a pretty good purchase. So. The first item is the Sun Life. Now, the, it's a mouthful. It's a lot of stuff. This It's a radio, weather radio, FM radio. This is an all around, off, like no power. It's gonna take care of you. So, first thing that I liked about this, of course it is an AM, FM, and weather radio, but it is solar powered, so as you see here, there is a solar panel, so you can charge it via uh, sun, but if you're out of power and it's dark out, there's also a hand crank, and so you can actually hand crank it. It doesn't matter which way you hand crank it, you can hand crank it either way, and this light will come on letting you know that it's charging. I thought that was really cool because while you're charging that, on the back here, and it comes with a cord, it is also a USB phone charger. This is a power bank, so you can charge your phone with it. I, I thought that was really, really cool. It also has, I'm not gonna shine myself, but it has a reading light, so you can read your book in the dark when you have nothing to do because the power's out. And then it also has a flashlight here. I'm not gonna try and shine you guys, but it also has a flashlight here. So this has, it can be powered by AAA batteries, or it has a built-in um, Li Ion, I think that's how it's pronounced, Li Ion uh, battery, and that's what's charged by the solar panel or the crank charge. So it also has, and this is gonna be noisy, an SOS, and that's actually really handy, uh, especially in a natural disaster if something happens and you can't get out or you're trapped and you need to alert someone who might be passing by to rescue you. <sighs> We've been feeling it out and I'm actually Pleasantly, I'm impressed by this. Um, it goes for about, I think, $35 on Amazon, and I'll leave a link to all of these items down below. So the radio has the antenna, and... At least 20 seconds. And always wash before you touch your face, eat, or drink. Use hand sanitizers in addition to hand washing. <laughs> COVID-19. But, um, yeah, I, I have to say, I'm actually very happy with this, and this is definitely going to be... Uh, in our box of hurricane items because that is always one of the biggest concerns um, in this day and age is if you lose power. I, when I was younger, we had uh, one time where we had three hurricanes come over Florida back to back to back and we were actually out of power for I think three weeks. And uh, when you need to reach people or you need to check in on people or you need to make phone calls, um, there's not really landlines. A lot of places don't have landlines anymore. So this is really nice to be able to have so you know that your phone is charged at least. So pretty happy with this. So the next item I thought was really cool and it is definitely one of the first things that you need to have in a natural disaster or a hurricane and that is water drinkable water. So commonly whenever a hurricane is coming and you're expecting to lose power, you fill your tub. So you can at least flush the toilets. But that water sitting in the tub, it doesn't stay clean. And unfortunately in the stores, 
bottled water, jugs of water, they're the first things to get cleaned out. So, I'm gonna show you guys the box because it's kind of funky to show you guys the actual item. So this is called the Water Bob, and it, I really, I've been wanting to get one of these for a while, and I was really glad that I got one for this hurricane season. So basically, it takes up the expanse of your tub, and you fill up the water that you would drink. So this was actually kind of really, really cool. It's like I said, it's BPA free, um, and it also has a uh, pump that's a little hand pump to dispense the water out. So that way you can fill up, if you have two bathrooms, you can fill up one tub for water for flushing toilets. Yes, that is a real thing. And then the other tub can be dedicated to having drinking water or potable water. So this was something that I definitely wanted to have on hand. Um, an alternative to this would be, of course, getting some five gallon water totes, but I think this was actually more affordable, but I'll link both down below so you guys can decide which one you might want more. So in a natural disaster or, or state of emergency, there's no power, the sun goes down, it's dark. But in a hurricane, your windows are shuttered or boarded up, and so oftentimes it's like pitch black in your house. There's no light being let in, and so you need a source of light, and if you have no power, then that's a problem. Now, of course, some people will have like flashlights and things like that, but this is something that I've actually really liked. It's a, a lamp, but it's LED, so it lasts longer, it's brighter, um, it can easily fill a room with light. There are some options for solar, and I'm gonna leave a link to, down below for that because that's just that's just really cool to have. This, one, this particular one is battery powered, and it's lasted a long time. My son uses it in his room all the time as like a night light or like a lamp light to have for reading. And um, it's dimmable, but they have a solar option as well if you would prefer to do that. So I'll leave a link down below for both of those options. But aside from a flashlight, I actually really like these a lot because it can be hung. It's actually dimmable, like I said. So this is definitely something that I we want to have on hand. I'm planning on getting more of these actually. So like the last item, you definitely want light. Well, if you're going out and you are cleaning debris or if something happened outside and it's dark out, you need to have your hands free. My mom actually got us these headlamps and I actually use these a lot, even outside of hurricanes and natural disasters and stuff like that. Um, it actually comes with two different options. You can have like a full cast or a direct line or both and uh, definitely comes in handy if you need to see what you're doing but you need to have your hands free so I uh, we actually I think we have four of these they're actually we have them for each of us to have one including Leon our son um, but we, we use these a lot the next item is something that I strongly recommend when you don't have power and things like TV or video games to entertain you and that is a good book. <laughs> I kind of th that kind of seems anticlimactic. So I've been reading this book and I've actually really love it. It's inspired me, given me a lot of new ideas for the garden. It is Compact Farms, 15 Proven Plans for Market Farms on Five Acres or Less by Josh Volk. Now, I, I really love it. It's got great pictures in it, um, kind of give you some ideas, shows you the layout of these different farms, um, their systems that they do when they're planting when they're harvesting things and it definitely gave me some inspiration so if you're just sitting there twiddling your thumbs with nothing to do while the power's out and you're locked in your house maybe get some inspiration for your garden so thank you so much for sticking around with me like I said I hope that some of these items can maybe help you in preparing for the hurricanes that are to come they're expecting a higher a very active season this year I'm hoping not though just stay away from us hurricanes but Thank you so much for joining me today. And like I said, I will be leaving links to these items down below. I will also leave a link to that book if you guys are interested in looking at that book. I really recommend it. I've been very happy with that book. So glad I got it. But thank you for joining me. Stay safe. Hopefully no hurricanes come and we have a nice, calm hurricane season. Thank you guys.